Hey guys, um, today is June 14th and um, my mastectomy is scheduled for June the 25th. I meet with a plastic surgeon on the 20th and this is my first YouTube video. I should have started, um, I should have started it the day I found out um, because but it was just too much. Um, I want to be able to help other women that have to go through this process because if you don't do research and you don't um, look up every video under the sun trying to find out information, it's very confusing and very hard. And for those of you who know me, you know that usually I am, you wouldn't know anything's wrong because I'm, I hide it pretty well. Um, I was out in the field today with, um, one of the guys that I work with and he was like, I never ask you about it because you just seem really upbeat and you don't seem like it really bothers you. And I'm thinking, um, it's cancer. Uh, it really does bother me, <laughs> but I, I do put up a front, I guess, because I don't want to walk around and be scared all the time or feel that way. But this morning was not a good day. And I didn't have time to go on here and tell y'all because um, I was about to go out and see people. But I don't want you only to see the times that I'm like, oh, joking about getting new boobs and stuff like that. Because um, I told y'all that I would be very upfront about everything. And to be honest, I am terrified. not only of having the surgery, but just being different afterwards. I'm sorry. I don't, I mean, I have to think that there's people out there who have lost their limbs, you know, there's people who can't walk because of that or They've lost an arm and they can't, um, are they born with no arms and they, you know, there's so many people in more, in worse situations than I am, but it's me going through it. So it's just hard to overlook, but my body's never going to look the same and I'm scared of that. I'm scared that I won't want to look in the mirror at myself. I'm scared that I won't want my husband to look at me. And I I guess I'm going through like um the fear of losing it's a loss, I guess. I'm like grieving what is about to happen. And I just want y'all to know if you haven't dealt with this, that it is normal to feel this way. I've looked it up, but, um, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of my boobs right now and that's not a joke. I mean, it, it is true. I've breastfed two babies, but those boobs did give my baby's life. The... <sighs> They fed them for two years. And no matter what they look like, now they're mine. And they won't be in less than, no, a little bit more than a week. And I'm just, I'm scared. I'm scared of the surgery. I'm scared of losing my boobs. I'm scared of cancer in general. So I don't want you all to think that I'm just this happy-go-lucky person because there are days that is just like today. Like, I feel like I'm mourning and I haven't even lost them yet. But I, I told you all that I would be completely open and honest and that's what I'll, I will always be. So 
I'm going to try my best to be upbeat and positive. Um, because that's the only way to get through this. But I want you to know that there are days that it is hard that you start feeling this way. And I'm so glad that I have friends that have gone through this and I'm also a part of um, two different breast support um, I mean breast cancer support um, pages on Facebook and there's so many wonderful women that pray for each other every day and you can just go on there and ask questions that you're thinking and everyone is just so supportive and it's it's a, you wouldn't even think you wouldn't even think about those women unless you're in this but you can go on there and ask anything and someone has gone through it and that is amazing because you feel like you're so alone I mean my husband is very supportive of me but he doesn't know the things that I'm going through and you, it is lonely it's lonely to feel the overwhelming thoughts of what if they don't get everything and what if it comes back and I don't want to leave my babies and I don't think that's going to happen I think that I'm just going to be I'm going to be fine but there are times where that thought is overwhelming and Today wasn't that day. I had one of those days the other day. Today was mainly just being slapped in the face of the thought of a part of me being taken off. And it's it's just overwhelming at times. But that's all I really had to say. I just wanted to let y'all know that these days do exist and most of the time I'm happy-go-lucky and <sighs> today isn't one of those days but um yeah thank you all for your thoughts and prayers and just keep them coming um I have so many wonderful people in my life who love me and are helping through all this and one of my best friends from elementary school she lives 10 minutes from me and she just went through this two years ago and she's been just wonderful like I can call and say is it is it normal for me to be fine one minute and then bawling crying the next it's just I think you have to let it out at times because if you just keep it all in, it's not good. And so now I've had a little bit of a cry, so I need to go back to my life. I'm sitting in a park right now filming this about a minute away from my house. Um... And I definitely don't want to be like this in front of my kids. I don't want them to see um, that their mom is scared at times. Because if deep, I mean, in my heart I know I'm going to be fine. I know that God has me. And I know that... God still performs miracles. I know that he heals. And just like he did a long time ago, he when he was on this earth, I know that he still does it now. And I know that I'm going to be healed. But the bad thoughts come in because Satan still is in this world. And he does put doubt in my mind and scares me at times. But I don't want my kids to see that. Um, because I'm sure they're already going through enough wondering... Because they don't know that I'm going to be okay. And the thought of them worrying about me, I don't want them to do that. So I need to be strong around them. And for them to know that I'm going to be fine. So they don't need to see the days that I'm scared. 
and I'm worried because it's just a day. It's just a short time and it will pass. Today's just one of those days. But anyway, um, that's all I got to say today. And I will start keeping a video diary of everything that's going on because I want to be what is the word I just I want I want to film everything that I'm going through so that someone else that has to go through this can see if there's one person that I can help feel better or let them know that it's normal that all these things that are happening and you know, the, the thoughts that you're feeling and all that. I just want to be able to help somebody through this if I'm having to go through it. That's just my nature. So, um, that's it. That's all I got. Um, my YouTube isn't going to be special. I don't even know how to edit stuff on YouTube. So it's just going to be do me doing videos, um, with no little fancy songs or things that go through unless I can figure out how to do that. But I got too much going on right now to figure out how to do that. So if you want to keep in contact with what's going on, just, um, I think you click the subscribe button or like the video and hit subscribe and then you can, uh, you'll know whenever I put something new and I think that's how it works. I'm guessing. But thanks for listening to me having a bad day today, but tomorrow will be a better day. I love all of you guys. Thank you so much.